thank you for joining us. Uh, the Board of Christian Ed has been trying to put together some outdoor events so we can be in person uh, and not just through Zoom, if you will. And so uh, we came up with this idea to do a night of light on Easter Eve. We didn't get to have candles on Christmas, so here's our makeup, our makeup day. Um, but thank you for coming and supporting these crazy ideas that CE comes up with. We really appreciate it. Um, there's not too much to the program. We're going to have a prayer. We're going to have a song. You're invited to come a little bit closer, but space if you can't hear me sing. Um, and then the lights will stay on all night. So feel free to um, stay as long as you're moved to. But thank you for coming. They're battery-powered lights, so no all is safe. open flame. All is safe. All is well. Thanks for coming. tradition, the day, as in the Jewish tradition, the new day starts at sunset. So uh, there's an ancient tradition of celebrating Easter on the night before Easter, and a prayer that is said to the night, or addressed also to the night. And so I borrowed a little bit from that. It's a little long, but it's the only thing on the program besides the songs. So, uh, so let's all settle in for a, a, a little bit of a prayer, and then we'll have some Please pray with me. Holy God of mystery, it is from this deepening night that we look to you for safety and deliverance. From this night in which we cannot easily see our way, in which we can't tell what frightening things are lurking in the corner or under our bed. It is from this night in which we can feel so alone, so helpless, so anxious. It is from this night in which conspiracies are hatched in which the KKK burns their wicked crosses, in which prisoners in solitary confinement stare into the dark silence. It is from this night in which parents miss their absent children, and children far from home dream of returning to the warm light of the kitchen. It is from this night in which our self-destructive habits call to us, tempting us to fall off the wagon. It is from this night in which we mull over our mistakes and with our daylight pride set aside, shake our heads in disbelief about the things we've done wrong, and we don't even know why or how. It is from this night that our heartbreaks come back to us, and the people who broke our trust haunt our dreams. It is from this night we look to you, O holy God of mystery, for safety and deliverance. It is the same night in which Jesus' disciples mourn quietly and in fear, in which they didn't know what to say to one another and felt that all the hopes and dreams that bound them together as friends were now gone. It is the same night that those who conspired against your beloved, your chosen one, lay restless in bitter contentment, trying to convince themselves for the hundredth time that they did what they had to do, somewhere knowing it was a lie. This is the night in which we look to you, O holy God of mystery, for safety and deliverance. This is the same night in which your word was silent, but still at work. This is the night when all creation rested, buzzing with a secret that the budding trees could barely keep, that new light was about to dawn. The night when Jesus was in the tomb, but still reigning as he reigned on the earth, and as we, he was about to reign from heaven, so even this night he reigned under the earth in solidarity and promise and hope with all those who have ever died. It was in this night that he flung open the gates of death which could not contain him. It was in this night that your Holy Spirit 
started to blow, and she took everything that Jesus had been and would ever be, and gave him a new life that could never end, even to all eternity. It was this night that your Holy Trinity started to regather when the silent and invisible one began to regain God's voice and the Spirit started on a new purpose and the only begotten one arose to life everlasting. It is this night with our path only dimly lit as far as our eyes can see by these lights and yet a night eternally radiant in which we look to you, O Holy Source, Son, and Spirit, for safety and deliverance. And in this very night, we know without a shadow of a doubt that come morning, we shall see your glory, one God, forever and ever. Hear us as we pray once again the way your Son taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, from this night forevermore. Amen. And let us say for the first time, Christ is risen. He is risen hey, thank you.